Oh! A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty How Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Poor Silver! Brad Mason was going home. Leaning against the bar in the almost deserted Silver Dollar Cafe, he realized for the first time in his life how pleasant the thought of home could be. Home. The old ranch in Blue Bonnet Valley and his brother Cal. Yes, from this moment on, Brad Mason was through with back trails and owl hoot friends. It was then that he heard a voice, low, level, and directly behind him. Turn around, Brad. Keep your paws bar level. What the... You heard me. Turn around. Well, I'll be... Spider Vane. Kind of sneaked up on me, didn't you, Spider? It's the best way to handle a gun slick. But I... Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I thought the law bedded you down in territorial prison. That was five years ago, and I... Say, what's that you've got pinned on your vest? You can read, can't you? Yeah, but... You, a lawman? <laughs> you mean they got so hard up for a sheriff around here they hired Spider Vane? Anything wrong with that? No, not as long as you're nudging my ribs with a gun. But I still don't believe it. Let me take a look at that star real close. The words are plain enough. Yeah, it says, uh, Sheriff of Blue Bonnet County. And right underneath that is... <coughs> Why, you sneak... Your aim's way off, Spider. Oh, my arm! I just brought you to disarm you. Oh, uh, maybe we can talk real sociable-like. Hey, barkeep. Uh, yes, sir? My friend, the sheriff, just had a little scare. He needs a drink. Uh, so do I. Yes, sir. Right away. Uh, Sheriff, maybe you've got some reason for poking hog legs in people's backs. What is it? I saw you ride into town. Followed you in here to tell you to get out. Yeah, why? We don't want any owl hoots around here. Here's for drinks, Brent. Thanks. That don't make much sense coming from an army like you. I'm a lawman. My past record ain't no secret. But I'm on the law side now. (laughs) Oh, I see. Hire a wolf to catch a wolf, that it? Maybe. Now drink up. Now, uh, just for your information, Spider, I'm on the law side, too. Hmm. What do you mean? I've done my stretch, paid a five-year debt to the law. Now I'm going home. 
But I hang up my guns and settle down to ranching with my brother, Cal. You, uh, you mean over in the valley? Sure. Cal's still running the old place. Does he know you're coming back? I'm going to surprise him. You know, Spider, it feels so good to be going home, I, uh, I'm even glad to see you. Yeah? I spent many nights up there in prison, staring at a stone wall, trying to make believe it was the old ranch. I'd pretend I was a kid again, playing Indian up there by Chimney Rock, up at the north end of the spread. There's a tunnel that goes right through Chimney Rock. Yeah, I know. What? I, uh, I mean, I've heard about it. Oh. Well, that's when I knew for sure there's no percentage riding the owl hoot. I'm through with it for good. I'm going home. Just as long as you don't stay around here. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, by the way, I've heard talk that Cal and some of the other ranchers in the valley have been having rustler trouble. You know anything about it? It's all news to me. Well, if there is anything wrong, I'll put a stop to it pronto. <laughs> Hire a rustler to catch a rustler, hmm? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Well, Spider, even talk like that won't make me mad. I feel too good. And from now on, I want to be a friend to lawmen. All lawmen. Even an ex gun hawk like you. <laughs> Well, I got one more stop to make before I surprise Cal tomorrow night. Yeah? Where's that? Barber shop over in Round Rock. I'm going to get this beard shaved off so Cal will recognize me. Adios, Sheriff. Just before noon on the following day, when Tonto rode into the Lone Ranger's camp, not far from Blue Bonnet Valley. Oh, Scott, oh, fella, oh, oh, fella. Oh, oh, Scott. Your servant in town took quite a while, Tonto. Did you see the padre? Ah, him have letter for you. Letter? Ah, here. Thanks. Hmm. This is from the United States Marshal El Paso. There's another letter inside. Marshal has forwarded to me. What letter say? From a rancher here in Blue Bonnet Valley. A man named Cal Mason. Oh. He's asking for help to track down some cattle rustlers. Evidently, the law isn't very efficient. You know Mason, Puller? No, I don't, Tonto. In fact, he says right here, if you don't know me, we need help mighty bad. So I'm sending this in care of the marshal at El Paso, and I hope he'll find you. We help him? I don't know. Maybe too late. Late? Me not savvy. This letter is dated three months ago. A lot of things could have happened in the meantime. Uh -huh. How far is the town of Round Rock from here? We ride now, come to Round Rock maybe by sundown. Good. As soon as we pack our gear, that's where we're heading. I'll... What matter? Nothing important. The wind just blew that letter out of my hand. Going down into that draw. Oh. It's hard climb down there. Let it go. I know the man's name. He'll be in Round Rock by nightfall. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Doc. Hey, I was talking to the bartender over at the Silver Dollar. He said that some freebooter got the drop on you. Yeah, an hombre named Brad Mason. Brad Mason? You mean the owl hoot who used it? <laughs> I thought he was doing time. He just got out and was drifting through town. Say, ain't he related to Cal Mason over in the valley? A brother. Dirty sneaking coyote. I'd like that Mason. Why, that's the spread where you, Red, and me was figuring on dabbing a long loop over about a hundred head of longhorns. Yeah, I was figuring on that job for tonight. I'd like to think of some way of getting you know, a square. better way of squaring a score with Brad Mason than by lifting some of his brother's beef. That's not it. What I mean is that with Brad Mason living here in the valley, our string's about played out. He knows every rustling trick that we do, maybe more. Ranchers will get wise. Even with your lawman job as a cover-up? Ah, Brad will see through that. Hmm. How about a little bushwhacking? Yeah, but he's a cagey critter. We'll have... Red! Hey, Spider. Just found something on the trail east of here. Would you like to see it? Found what? Look. A letter to Cal Mason over in the valley road. Mason? Let me see it. Well, I'll be... A lone ranger. Lone ranger. <laughs> Is there such an hombre? I don't know. Heard a lot of stories. I guess Cal Mason figured he was real enough. 
At least he did three months ago. What do you mean? It's all there in the letter. Where'd you pick this up, Red? I told you on the trail east of Blue Bonnet. What is it? A letter addressed to the Lone Ranger. Mason's asking him to come out here and help the Valley Ranchers track down rustlers. Help it. <laughs> Does it say anything about the law here in Blue Bonnet? Shut up. What do you make of it, Spider? Nothing. There is a critter like the Lone Ranger. It's a cinch he never got this. Because it's three months old. Yeah, and he ain't showed up. Yeah, but we... Wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Yeah? Red. Brad Mason don't know you, and he's just crazy enough to... Brad to... Mason? Who's he? Thorpe will point him out to you. We'll ride over to Round Rock now. Round Rock? What's the idea? Look, I'll keep undercover until you and Red get it set up. Or we can get rid of Brad Mason and make it legal. Oh, I don't savvy. I'll explain it to you while we're riding. Eight to five, you'll find Brad Mason in the barber shop. <laughs> Step and give him the story Spider told you. Now, here he comes. I'll meet you in the cafe. Yeah. Say, ain't you Brad Mason? Yeah, that's my name. I thought it was you when I saw you walk out of the barber shop. Glad to see you back, Brad. Mighty glad. Thanks. Guess I don't exactly remember who I'm you are. I'm Red Stevens. I got a little place in the valley, not far from Cal Spread. Say, does he know you're in town? Well, not yet. I'm going to ride out to the ranch and surprise him right now. Good, good. He'll be glad to see you. Only thing is, he's... Uh... What's the matter? Nothing wrong with Cal, is there? Well, no, no, nothing wrong. Uh, he's just in kind of a tough spot, that's all. What do you mean? You see, there's been quite a bit of rustling going on for the past two years. We've all lost a lot of stock. Yeah, I heard about it. Anyway, about three months ago, all the ranchers had a meeting, and uh, uh, Cal, your brother... Suggested sending for the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? Well, how'd he find him? I guess he didn't, because the gen never showed up. And uh, just this morning, I found Cal's letter all crumpled up on the trail east of town. Uh, here. Hmm. Cal's handwriting, all right. How'd the letter get out there? I don't know. But it proves that mask man never got it. It puts your brother in a mighty tough spot. How do you figure? We're having another meeting tonight. Cal has been so sure this Lone Ranger armory wouldn't disappoint him. But now, uh, say, you're pretty handy with a pair of six guns, ain't you? Tolerable. Why? I was just thinking, if you wanted to help all us ranchers and help Cal, too, you could pretend to be this mass gent. Just at the meeting, I mean. Mm. When's this meeting going to be? Tonight, about an hour from now, in the Longhorn Cafe. Maybe that ain't such a bad idea. I can surprise Cal... And let him in on it later. Sure. Has anybody around here ever seen the Lone Ranger? Nah. All you'll have to do is hunt up a black mass someplace. That'll be easy. Well, thanks for tipping me off, Red. Well, then you'll come down to the Longhorn for the meeting? Sure I will. I'll walk in there as big as the Lone Ranger himself. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Howdy, big fella. This is Round Rock, Cotto. Might have a hard time finding the Mason Ranch this time of night. Uh, go into one of the cafes and ask the directions, will you? Uh, me do it. I'll wait here for you. Uh, me want ask questions. You're wasting your time, Red Skid. We don't sell drinks to Indians. Oh, me not want drinks. You want to know where... Hey, Charlie, one of the army has just walked in the door. He's wearing a mask. Well, I'll be... I'm looking for Cal Mason. Tell him the Lone Ranger's here and wants to see him. Why don't you stop trying to fool everybody, Brad? We know who you are and what you are. Yeah, nothing but a two-bit outlaw trying to hold up a cafe. Why, well, you're the one I just... Don't worry, folks. I'm right behind him. Spider Vane. It's a frame-up. And now who'd always yell frame-up? Oh, you dirty... Look the floor! <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. The gun trap in the Longhorn Cafe caught Brad Mason wholly unprepared, but he'd been in gun fights before. As Spider Vane's first shot whined within a quarter inch of his head, Brad reached for his holstered 45s. A second later, they were blasting a lethal chorus. Otto in self protection huddled close to the floor, but his eyes were on Brad Mason, who stumbled backward as several bullets found their mark. A moment later, the mass figure's guns were silent. He staggered toward the door. That's enough, boys. He's finished. I... I've got to have air. I've got to go home. Here, you lean on me. Oh. Turn to hell. Who's the redskin? Let's give him one more round, Spider. That engine must be a part of his. Wait till you get outside. We'll finish him off. Oh. Not oh. what happened. I heard the shots. Like came Spider, a... wear a mask. Same Lone Ranger. Walk into gun trap. Them shoot him. Here, let me help you. We uh, think the men back there crooks. Them shoot. Go, Spider, see? Come on the red skin over by the head track. Get him on your horse, Tonto. Ride double, I'll cover you. Uh, Down, follow him. That's what you think. Oh, my leg. Got a slug in my leg. What, Spider? He, he's still standing. Oh. Steady, Silver. Easy. Ready, Tonto? You ready? Get beyond those trees and we'll be out of sight. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Walk, let alone ride a horse. Hey, Sheriff Bain, was that really the Lone Ranger? No, of course not. It was Brad Mason. Mason? You mean Cal Mason's brother? Sure. I thought he was in jail. He just got out a couple days ago. Me and my deputy's been trailing him. Well, I didn't know the engine was with him until... Well, I guess you must work together. Yeah, funny way to pull a hole up. Why did he come in and say he was a Lone Ranger? I don't know. Sometimes outlaws are hard to figure. But there's one thing we know for sure. What's that, Sheriff? Brad Mason's got too many bullets in his hide to ride very far or live very long. <laughs> Say, uh, how are Thorpe and Red, my deputies? They're not hurt bad, Sheriff. Just creased. Good. Now, how about a drink for everybody? It's on me. Oh, 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 there. Now, let him slide toward me. Uh, he's badly hurt, Tonto. We'll do what we can. There. I'll open his shirt. Here, better tear my bandana. Make some bandages. We can stop the flow of blood, but he needs a doctor. No doctor. No time for... Yes, I, I did cash in. Must be dreaming. You're badly wounded. We'll help you all we can. Yeah, need fix bandage. I know, I know. Lots of slugs in my chest. I must be dreaming. Why do you say that? I, I remember walking into that saloon, the Longhorn, before Spider Vane and his skunk stuff crossed me. I was going to surprise my brother, Cal Mason. Make out I was I was a lone ranger. Kind of a joke. I see. Now, I must have caught some of those slugs in my head. Because you look like the real lone ranger. You uh, mentioned Cal Mason. Yeah, I... I'm Brad. Yes, I remember now. Several years ago, there was an outlaw named Brad Mason. That, that was me. Went to prison for five years. Got out last week. I was going to get right with the law. I was on my way home. Why did you pretend to be the Lone Ranger? Uh, that was his idea. But I was dumb enough to fall for it. Well, who's he? One of, one of Spider Vane's deputies. I can figure the whole thing. Now that it's too late... 
Does your brother know anything about this? No. Cal doesn't even know I'm out of jail. He never had much use for me. But I figured I could, I could surprise him and round up the cattle rustlers. Rustlers? Do you know who they are? Stranger, up until the time I walked into the Longhorn, I didn't know. But now I'll lay a hundred to one and make a safe bet. Who is it? An I'm named Spider Vane, a sheriff of this county. Yes, I know. Well, everybody thinks he's reformed. That's how he got the job, but it's not true. He must be the one who's doing the rustling. That's why he set a trap for me. You may be right. I know I am. And I'll bet that's why he and, he and his gunnies are in Round Rock tonight. With me out of the way, they... <laughs> easy, fella, easy. Brad, how far is your brother's ranch from here? It's too far for me to make it. I've played out my string, I know it. Maybe not. Worst part of it is, when Cal hears what happened, he'll never know I was coming home to settle down. But I wanted to come home. Yes, he will. I'll see that you get there. I'm sure Cal will understand. Oh, how do we get to the ranch? Straight south. Till you pass a big rock. That's Chimney Rock. Got a tunnel running through it. Good. Here, help me lift him onto your horse, Tonto. Uh, I need help. Oh, well, tired. I don't think I can... can make it. Uh, him faint. Well, it's probably better that way. Here, we'll put him into your saddle. Uh, <laughs> Here, Silver. Him hurt plenty bad. I know it. We'll try to get him home before he dies. Silly big fella. You think him right about Sheriff? I don't know, Tonto. But we'll finish the job he started to do. Uh. He was shot down while he was pretending to be the Lone Ranger. I'll see what luck I have pretending to be Brad Mason. Go on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Looks like the place you described, Tonto. A chimney rock. Ah, the big fella. How is he? Think he'll live? Brad Mason not to get home now. Stop too many bullets. Dead. Ah. That's too bad. I hoped he would live long enough to. Wait a minute. Here. Let's lift him out of the saddle. Uh huh. Body right here by the rock tunnel. There. Well, he did finally reach home. That's what he wanted. Uh, him. Kimasabi. What's wrong, Tonto? Me hear men move. Other side rock. Yes, I. Didn't Brad say something about a tunnel through here? Uh. Come on, let's find it. This is it. Kimasabi. Yes, you see through the out there. Other side. Listen. What that? A cutting barbed wire on the fence. I think we can move closer without being seen. This guy's big enough, Spider? Yeah. Big enough to push through 200 head of stock. You stay here, Red. Rope and I'll ride back and cut those beads out of the earth and then head them this way. We'll use the tunnel again. Let's get going. All right, come on. That's Spider being the sheriff. Brad Mason was right. Ah, and me no other man. Them in saloon tonight. We've got to work fast, Tonto, before they get back here with the cattle. Ah. Now, Cal Mason's ranch house must be south of here. Right down there. I need to get some of the other ranchers and come back here if they want to catch the gang that's stealing their cattle. Ah, uh, me go. Now, what you do, Kimasabi? What Brad Mason would have done if he'd reached home alive. Hurry, Tonto. What the... What do you want, Injun? You, you Mason? Cal Mason? That's right. What do you want at this time of night? If you want catch crook, who we'll steal cattle here in Valley. Come to Chimney Rock, pronto. What's that? Catch cattle rustlers? Uh, better you get other ranchers, then come too. Well, I don't know whether I could... Say, who are you? How do I know that you're telling the truth? Your brother at Chimney Rock now. This is his ID. My brother? You mean Brad? Uh. Well, Brad's in prison. I don't think that or he... him get out. Come home to help you. Better you hurry plenty fast. I can't understand. Why, Juniper Injun, you may be telling the truth. 
At least it's worth taking a chance. Uh. Wait here until I get dressed. Then I'll saddle a horse and we'll line up some of the other ranchers. It's Brad Mason. It can't be. Brad's dead. We killed him. It's either him or his ghost. Look, he, 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 he's still wearing a mask. Oh, I tell and, you. And he's drawn down on a spider. Look. Don't see how that buzzer can still walk. But if he wants more lead, I'll give it to him. Oh, you missed him. And, and he's still there. Look, he, he, he's coming down here. Stop yelling. Get out your gun and use it. Oh, let's get out of here. Hey, look behind us. We're trapped. Shoot, you fool. Shoot. Cal, Spider Vane is two deputies. Yeah, Spider Vane, a double crossing lawman. No wonder he couldn't catch any cattle rustlers. But we got him hogtied and laced down now. I'll turn him over to the marshal tomorrow. Say, I just remembered. My brother Brad, he. Hey, Injun, you said my brother was out here. Where is he? Oh, him. Him over by rock. On the ground. On the ground? Uh. Does he mean. I'm afraid so, Cal. Brad? Dead? It's the second time tonight those buzzards gunned him. First in the Longhorn. And he must have known that they were doing, because he pretended to be the Lone Ranger and trailed him out here. And he sent that redskin to bring you and the rest of us. You know, I've always prayed that Brad would come home someday. But I didn't want it to happen this way. There's only one thing I can't figure out, Cal. What's that? I saw it myself when we first rode up. Brad standing up there on top of the chimney rock, shooting it out with those coyotes. But why was he wearing a mask? Why was he still pretending to be the Lone Ranger? The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>